Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am here with another flower painting. So I know you guys like flowers a lot. I know me too. So let's start painting. Alright, so before we start, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get to see more this kind of a step-by-step -step painting video. If you really like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up to this video. Okay, so let's start. So these are the basic material that I'm going to be using today. I am using 8 by 10 size canvas. You can, if you don't have canvas, you don't have to exactly paint on canvas. If you have maybe a cardboard or maybe a watercolor pad or if you want to maybe paint on a bigger canvas, you can also do that. Okay, so I'm going to be using acrylic paint today. So I got this paints from Walmart. You can uh, get it from any craft store that is near to you and I'm gonna be using this color. So I just put my colors on a plate. It's gonna be easier to paint uh, any painting actually. So these are the five colors I'm gonna be using today. Purple, blue, green, yellow, and white. Okay, so just because I'm using a smaller canvas, I don't need that, man that much of paint. And these are the brushes that we're gonna be using today. So let's say for the background area, for the background part i'm gonna be using this fuzzier uh looking this kind of a brush i'm not using a smooth brush so let me show you the smooth brush so i'm not using this kind of a smooth brush we need to use this kind of a fuzzier looking rough looking uh brush this is gonna give you a nice texture for your background so let's say you are working on a bigger surface, not a smaller surface. So you can use a bigger brush. So today I'm using smaller canvas. So I'm going to be using my small brush. So I don't, I don't need this big brush. So I'm going to just leave it on the side. And I'm also going to be using these two small brushes. So one is a little bit bigger round brush and another is a small round brush. It's like a tiny, I don't, uh, if you, if you want to see the number, it's right here. This one is number four, this one is number zero. And for this big one, actually, uh, this is number 12. Okay, so just in case if you don't have these numbers, it's okay. You can definitely use a different kind of brush, whatever you have available in your home. Okay, so let's start painting. So I know that you can see some of the work already done on this canvas, but I don't really like it. So I'm gonna, I already covered it with a little bit of white, but you still can see some, but that's okay. All right, so let's start with our background first. So I'm gonna use this blue and a purple color for the background. And make sure you also have a cup of water so that you can clean your brush there. So before we start taking any color, let's just wet bristles in our water cup here. All right, so let's start uh, working on our background. So let me tell you before we start, the more water you use for this kind of a painting, uh, for this kind of a background especially, it's gonna give you a nice texture. So just in case if anyone doesn't have this kind of a brush, you can also use like a sponge too. So let me also bring that too. Okay, so you can use maybe this kind of a brush too. Uh, I'm gonna be using this one, but in case if you don't have these kinds, you can also use a sponge that looks something like this. I mean, you can also use your dishwasher sponge too, but try to use a new one here. <laughs> okay, so um, let me start with the brush first and then I'm going to show you with the sponge. Okay, so first I'm going to take some water on my brush here and then I'm going to take tiny little blue. So for this part, we don't need a whole lots of blue. So basically what I'm going to do is cover more blue on the top and a little bit green on the bottom. Okay, so let's do that. So what I'm going to do is add a little dab like that on top of my this area of canvas with blue okay and then I'm just gonna take whole lots of water <laughs> something like this the more water is more better remember that okay and then all I'm gonna do is just dab 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 and spread this water everywhere there is no right no wrong here we all gonna have a different background so just keep dabbing like that okay 
case or something like this. Okay, so I don't want my background to look just one color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit blue on just some area, not going everywhere this time. Okay, so just maybe one, two, like there, some here. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to start dabbing on those blue areas. Okay, as you can see, I'm taking a little bit more blue and spreading that blue. Okay, I'm also gonna apply a little bit purple here. So uh, I'm not cleaning my brush, we don't really have to. So here I'm gonna take a little bit purple. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna apply some purple first and then I'm gonna blend it with the blue a little bit and spreading everywhere on my background. I'm kind of creating the look of like a water, you can say. We all gonna have a different background so do not compare your painting with me okay so it, as you can see there is lots of water so I don't really like that part so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab a tissue paper and kind of soak that extra water from there okay so here's my tissue paper I'm just gonna kind of place it there okay that's better okay so all I'm gonna do now is uh, just keep applying more and more blue wherever I want to make it darker so I'm just gonna keep doing that thing just going on some area some area is lighter going with the purple doing the same thing so this part might be a little bit trickier for you but just don't overthink just keep going after everything's dry you're gonna see what we are trying to do here Alright, so I think that's all I'm gonna do here. Now I'm gonna work on the green area. So let me also show you the green area with the sponge this time, okay? So let's say, let me clean this brush first. Okay, and whenever you are working with the brushes and the sponges with the acrylic paint especially, make sure you clean your brushes before you move on to your, before you start using your different brush or sponge. Otherwise, your brush is gonna get dry and you cannot use that again. Uh, trust me, I'm telling you from my experience, um, I ruined so many brushes before. So if you don't want to do that, if you want to use this brushes again, make sure you clean it before you move on to your, before you use your other brush. All right, so now let's start using our sponge. So before you take any paint, just wet your sponge. Okay, so I just kind of wet this area, just one corner here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little bit green, just a tiny little bit of green. This much is good enough. And then I'm gonna start dabbing down here to give that nice texture. Again, all I'm doing is dabbing here. Doesn't have to be a perfect. So as you can see, some area is darker, some area is lighter. That's why I said, uh, that's, that's why I said earlier that we all gonna have a different texture here. So I really want to also add a little bit of blue. So I'm going to take tiny, oops, tiny little blue, not too much. Just maybe this much. And I'm also going to apply a little bit here. So just play around with this thing. 
uh, you might want to if you want to check out the whole uh, picture how it's going to turn out at the end you're going to get more idea okay i'm also going to apply a blue maybe here with the sponge Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do here. Uh, I know you can see whole lots of dab step steps here, but it's okay, just let it dry. You're gonna see a nice texture there. Okay, so I'll be back whenever everything is nice and dry. All right, so I'm back. So everything, as you can see, is completely dry. Maybe some dot is still kind of a little wet, but that's okay. Okay, so now I let it dry for about like 30 minutes. It's maybe more than 30 minutes but uh, it is ni nicely completely dry okay so now i can move on to adding my flowers so that's our next step okay so for that i'm gonna use my this round brush so just like i said before in case if you don't have this kind of a round brush if you have maybe a little bit bigger than this maybe this big is completely fine okay so if you are using a bigger brush i recommend to just use maybe a tip of your brush for the whole time if you are using this kind of a brush you can use your all whole bristles i'll uh, you'll see in a second what i'm talking about okay so let's start so before we take any paint here i'm just gonna wet my bristles okay so for this flower i am going to be using this white paint okay so now i'm gonna add about like four to maybe five flowers uh it's up it's up to you how bigger how smaller you want to add but i'm thinking i really like this area so i'm gonna add my bigger flower right here in, in a big in a center right here and my second's gonna be there my third's gonna be here and maybe a couple of them like smaller some other places but let's start with the bigger one first all right so let's do that so here i'm just gonna take some uh, white paint just a little bit so let's say this is gonna be the center of my flower so just gonna make a little dot this is gonna be the center uh and then i'm gonna start adding my petals so you don't have to count your petals high how many you are adding to be honest because i am gonna make a big flower so let's say i'm gonna think of like you are stamping this whole brush so let's say something like this and then bringing my paint my brush brush in and connecting to this center of my flower okay i am actually gonna make this part make this petal a little bit more bigger it does have to be straight remember that okay i'm gonna leave maybe a little space and add more and more petals connecting to my center of my flower now all of your petals doesn't have to be same size it's okay if some of them are like very small other are very big okay so as you can see every other petal i am taking more paint on my brush and you definitely don't have to leave equal space between your petals some of them are like overlapping on each other some of them are like separate from each other if that makes sense <laughs> Thank you. 
so that is my big flower i love it so don't worry it might look like fireworks i know uh, but whenever we are done with our whole flower like we are at the center of our flower and stuff like that uh this is gonna look like a flower okay so let's start adding other flowers so let's see maybe i'm gonna add my second flower right here All right, so the next one I'm gonna add is right here. So this time again, um, I'm gonna add a little bit different flower. Uh, this time you're not gonna see the center of the flower. So let's say I'm gonna add maybe just right here. You can definitely also overlap your flower only if you want to. Let me make this flower a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to move on to my second. Okay, so let's say maybe this is going to be the center of my flower. Again, there is no right, no wrong here. This is your painting. You can make it bigger, smaller, however you want to your flower. This is your painting. No one gonna judge you, this painting. So don't be a judge of your painting too. So you don't even have to think about how it's gonna turn out. This is, we are doing only for fun and only for fun. This is, this is so relaxing. Okay, let, let's say you are getting a fuzzier line like I have right here. Uh, it's only because you're you taking very less paint and your bristles are very dry too. So what I like to do is just take a little water and mixing uh, with a tiny little paint, not the whole glob, just maybe tiny little paint uh, with the water. And then you're gonna see a big difference. It will be so much easy to apply your paint. And also you're not gonna get that fuzzier line looking petals. All right, and then I'm gonna move on to my second flower. I mean, uh, the next one. So let's say maybe I'm gonna add a small one right there. Just maybe tiny one. And maybe tiny one on the edge right here. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, for me, it's very hard to stop adding these flowers. If you're like me, it's okay. It's very normal. Normal. Okay, so now I am gonna clean my brush here. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little purple. I know you're gonna say what, uh, but let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna define this petal a little bit more. Uh, but let me show you how. Okay, so here I clean my brush. I'm gonna take a little water and then tiny glob of purple putting on side of my plate here. I hope you can see that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take like four to five drops of water here and mixing the whole thing. 
and then when you twist your bristles something like this it's gonna clean the extra paint from your brush and you're gonna get a nice pointy edge but for this part i'm not using this brush i'm gonna use a small brush okay and then i'm gonna wet my bristles here and then i'm gonna use this paint just so again after you take your paint just kind of a twist your bristles like that and then you will have a nice pointy brush okay so let's see so i'm applying just a tiny little of this purple just around the center area so something like this lightly kind of a touching that area with the purple and just because we use like a watery purple this part is not gonna be too dark and that's a that is what i'm going for making this area like a lighter purplish uh so yeah something like this i'm just kind of touching it with the tip of my brush so that's why we use a little bit of water we just gonna be adding a little bit of purple just like that just tiny bit of everywhere for the center of the flower that's all i'm gonna do there not applying too much purple just a little bit just in case if you feel you think you apply a lot of purple just add a little bit more white on top less is better i like to say <laughs> because whenever you are done with the whole painting in case if you like to go back and add more purple you can do that okay so for this area uh for this flower actually i am gonna go on the edges of my paddle so let me show you let's say this is the edge of my paddle but i'm gonna go the bottom of the paddle here you can see it's also a shadow kind of a thing so let's say maybe down here i'm going so that's why i say it's going to define your paddle the shape of your paddle Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do with this purple. Now I'm gonna move on to add some leaves down here, okay? So for that, again, I'm gonna move on. Uh, I'm gonna use my different brush, this middle one, round one. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that first here and then I'm just gonna be using like a, this green color here. So let's say, uh, do you remember how we use this purple? We use whole lots of water there, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing because I don't want any perfect sharp edges for my leaves. So let's say I'm gonna take a little glob of water here and then a little bit green paint. And I'm gonna mix both together. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more water here. all right so let's say i'm gonna add my leaves maybe right here you know the shape of the leaves right but uh you don't have to completely follow me because you can create any shape you think you want to so let's say i'm gonna add a leaf something like that this is gonna be a very light one so something like that that's my first leaf i'm gonna add my second one right there I hope you can see that because I am really creating very light one here. Maybe a small one, maybe right there. So again, if you are getting very sharp, sharp line, make sure you take some more water on your paint. Only if you are trying to uh, add the leaf that I'm uh, trying to do on my painting here. So there is... So that's going to be my stamp right here for this flower. So I'm going to add a couple leaves right here. So 
so I'm just randomly adding now other leaves just so that I can fill this bottom area a little bit. Alright, so now I can uh, start adding the second color leaves, which is slightly a little bit darker green color. So let's create that color. So here I'm going to take a little bit green here and tiny, tiny bit of blue. So just maybe this much. I don't know if you can see that. Just maybe tiny bit of blue. And mix it all together. So this is what I'm going to be using. This is lighter green, this is a darker green. I'm gonna make it slightly more darker by taking tiny bit of more blue here. So you can see the difference here on my plate. All right, so lighter green, darker green. Okay, so now here I'm taking a couple more drops of water. The more water you take, you're gonna get more lighter leaves okay i'm gonna take one more drop here all right so let's start adding other leaves so that's how i add my leaves uh the light one right here i'm gonna start adding the light darker one now uh, again very randomly you can just kind of overlap with the other leaves so something like that So it's kind of an illusion of uh, the different leaves. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not. So just uh, don't worry about my language here. <laughs> what I'm saying sometimes. I am still learning English, you can say. But it's fun. Thank you so much guys for supporting my videos on my YouTube here. Really appreciate that. I, like I said, I'm still not good at my english but thank you so much guys for watching my video here and i hope you guys understand what i'm talking all the time here so so as you can see i started adding some other small leaves everywhere like wherever uh like i don't have anything going on so this area is kind of a very light and nothing's going on here so i'm also adding my leaves there like very tiny one small one So we're also going to be using one more color here. I'll show you. I'm thinking of adding a little bit of shade of like a pink uh, shade. So I'll show you. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do here. Now I'm going to start adding stems for this flower right here all right so for that i'm gonna use this green just a plain green here okay mixing that with a little bit of water we're not using too much water for this part and again after you take that paint just kind of a twist your bristles so it's nice and pointy okay so let's start adding the bottom of our flower right here so that that's something gonna look something like this so let's say my stems gonna come from here and maybe right there so i'm not adding my stamp right now because i'm gonna be using small brush for that i'm just adding the bottom of the flower right here so let's say something like this so since my white is still wet that's why i'm grabbing some uh green here I mean white here and this is turning lighter green so let me take some more green here okay so here i'm gonna take some green okay I 
Okay, so this is the bottom of my flower. Okay, I'm gonna make this bottom here a little bit pointy. Okay, so I'm also gonna add like a little yellow, so don't worry how it looks right now. Alright, and then I'm gonna switch my brush to a small one and then I'm gonna start adding stems. Okay, so and for this part I'm actually gonna use a little bit of water. The water the more water you use, you're gonna get a nice pointy line. I mean uh the sharp line. We don't need any thin line. Remember, there is nothing perfect in nature. So we don't need any thin line. So let's say I'm going to add a stem right there. It's going to be very light. In case if your handshake, my handshakes are locked. So just kind of do a little exercise. And then start doing again. Start adding your stems again. Okay, so let's say I'm going to add this one. So this is the only stem that's going to be a little bit more thicker. So something like that. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to add other stems. So to be honest you don't have to come all the way down uh, in case if you think you are getting very thick line and you don't really like it use your finger and then just kind of make it lighter and this is not gonna be too thick okay that's why we need uh, to use a little bit of water this always help to get that nice sharp line and also a thin line okay and uh, last one maybe this way See, I am getting thick line, but that's okay. You can use your finger to make it lighter a little bit. All right, I think I like that. Okay, so now uh, for this part, I'm gonna come go back on this area and add a little bit of blue, but not just a plain blue. Uh, do you remember how we created this darker green last time? we're gonna do that okay so let's do that i'm taking a little bit blue here and with green i'm mixing it together so we don't need any uh, water for this part i'm not using any water okay so let's say i'm gonna go just add some kind of a line so you're gonna see what i'm doing here i'm kind of adding just to make it look slightly a little bit real but not too real we are not making anything real painting here. Okay, so something like that. Oops, okay, I need to take more paint here. I don't know what this thing called, this part called. So here I'm just adding this kind of a line over here just so that it looks slightly a little bit real. okay so now uh, i'm gonna add some uh yellow for the center area so let's do that so first i'm gonna clean my brush here and you can use whatever brush you want to use i'm just gonna use my small one here okay so i am using this darker uh kind of a yellow color in case if you are using a lighter color you don't have to do what i'm gonna do now which is creating lighter color okay so here i'm using a white color and a little bit of yellow here mixing all together maybe i'm gonna take a little bit more yellow okay so in case if you are using this yellow here you don't have to use uh, white and create this color you can directly just use this color here okay and let me take a little bit more okay so now 
all I'm going to do is just kind of a dab, dab, dab and create the center of my flower. Okay, so here I'm going to take this yellow and uh, I'm going to create like an oval shape. So um, let me show you oh, on here, on my plate. So I'm going to create like an oval shape like that by dabbing it. Okay, so let's do that. So again, this is my center. I'm just dabbing it and creating the center. I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna repeat the same thing for my three other flowers. So this flower is kind of this way. So I'm gonna add my oval shape this way. gonna go back on my bigger one one more time now you can definitely use that bright yellow if you want to that's definitely gonna look a very pretty if you use the lighter one but I don't have a lighter one I'm out of that yellow color so Now, I'm going to add some more darker yellow. So just in case, uh, if you have the darker yellow, you can also use that darker color of yellow. Just in case, if you don't have this kind of a darker yellow, what uh, you can do is um, take this yellow, just a plain yellow, and add a tiny bit of brown, not too much. So maybe this amount, this much amount of uh yellow and just maybe like a teeny teeny tiny amount of um, brown and mix it all together you can uh, also use that color for the next part okay so here I'm just gonna use this darker yellow and then all I'm gonna do is just go on the edges not the center part and just kind of add a little dab like that just like it I'm just barely touching my canvas for this part just using tip of my brush just like a, you can say tiny little dots just maybe like this okay and I'm gonna repeat the same thing for my other flowers All right, so that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and add some yellow for this area. So I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. So you can just wait for me and see how it's gonna turn out and then you can add yours. <laughs> okay, so just to highlight this area a little bit, you can use either uh, the yellow, whichever you have available. Okay, so let's say maybe just tie a little yellow, yellow on these edges of green area and the white area. Just barely touching my canvas here. And in case if the green is still bad, you're gonna get up, grab some uh, green, but that's okay. You can clean your brush or just wipe it on your paper towel. Alright, so that's all I'm gonna do here and I am all done with my painting but remember I said I'm gonna add some uh, of the pink here so let, let's do that so for that I'm using uh, just a plain red color bright red it says okay and just this much you don't need a lot of these colors okay so now I'm gonna create that uh, pink color just in case if you already have a pink uh, you don't have to create this color so for this part I'm gonna use this uh, big brush the round one 
Okay, so let's take a little bit of red out uh, white and tiny red, not too much. And take a little water and mix it all together. Now if you are also doing this part, this is up to you how dark, how light you want your flower to be. I am making it nice and darker pink here. Okay, so that's good. All right, so this kind of uh, little blotches of uh, this paint I'm gonna add, just very randomly. It doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect shape here. All right, so after I'm done with this part, I really want to add a stem so that it really looks like it's a flower, right? So here I'm just using this uh, watery green color. You can use darker, lighter, whichever one you have on your plate. Okay, so let's see my stem's gonna come this way. Maybe this way. all right so that's all i'm gonna do here we are done with our painting i hope you guys enjoyed painting with me and uh don't worry how it's turned out this is for fun remember that okay so whenever you are done with your painting make sure you clean all of your brushes with this soap water so that it don't get dry and you can use these brushes again okay and all right so yeah we are all done with this painting i'm gonna show you how this is gonna look like after it dry in uh just maybe a second <laughs> okay so again i hope you guys enjoyed painting with me make sure you give a thumbs up if you did enjoy and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more this kind of a step-by-step -step painting video and i will see you next time for another painting or maybe a DIY. Alright, bye!